YouTubes, my name is Aubrey Rose. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I have the hiccups. This probably isn't the best time to film this video, but today is like the first time I'm doing a recap video plus a TBR video. I've seen these done before by real booktubers, so I'm excited. Let me grab my reading journal just so I can make sure that I don't forget anything. So the first book that I read this month was actually a reread and it was Dracula. I love this book. Um, so the first time I read it, I actually didn't like it as much. I think I got bored a lot faster and yeah. This time around, it was really only the ending that I knew that I didn't like. I mean, uh, it did drag a little bit, but I read it on audiobook. Like, I'll link the specific audiobook because it was amazing. I loved the cast. They did a great job of bringing the characters to life, and I loved it. It was so good. So it only dragged a little bit, and then the ending is anticlimactic because of Van Helsing. Highly recommend, though. Love this book. Um, the second book that I read was On Writing by Stephen King. Um, I think this one, it was like part memoir, part writing craft, part memoir again. I think it was good. I don't remember most of it, um, but that's kind of my own fault. And then the audiobook actually had an interview between him and his son, which was really cool. So that was interesting to listen to. That's what I remember most of, actually. I think I would still recommend, but yeah, wasn't my favorite writing craft book, but I think it's still good to read from someone who's been writing for a long time. I've just been a little bit of a writing slump, so that's really on me. <clears throat> the third book that I read, well, the Nacht, I read most of it. My sister's read, do not recommend. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> then fourth read was Romanoff. This kind of ripped my heart out and crushed my soul and I did not love it but now that I'm not reading it it was a great book. This one I feel like I was actually able to look at it subjectively like it was a really good really well written well written book but it just, it wasn't for me at the time that I was reading it, but I was also kind of in a reading slump. So I don't know if I want to reread this or not. I'm still kind of going back and forth between this. We might see if my friend wants it before I get rid of it or decide if I want to keep it or not. My fifth book, fifth read, was The Wonderland Trials. Again, very good book, not the best. I have been kind of pulling it apart and critiquing it a lot recently, but it's still a fairly good book. I think if you can connect with the main character better than I could, you would like this book a lot more. Beautiful cover, beautiful. Um, really awesome world building. Would recommend to someone who's looking for like a clean, dystopian fantasy kind of book. This is good. It's still good. It's not the best. It's not my favorite, but it was still very good. Okay. I finally finished this book. I just, for one of my reading videos, I just needed a book to quickly like read a little bit of to bring with me. I finished Beautiful in God's Eyes. I counted it as read a while ago because I read most of it. I read like everything but the last short two chapters. And then there's a study guide at the end and I didn't want to do the whole study guide again. This was an amazing book when I was actually reading it and like delving into this book and using it as like a devotional. Highly recommend. I'm definitely going to go through this again. It just, it wasn't the best to just read out of the blue the last two chapters. Should have actually like reread the whole thing. Didn't do that because that's not what I was doing, but very good book. Very convicting and just inspiring. Highly recommend. Okay. Now we get to nonfiction, and this is really just, well, I mean, there was one nonfiction book, but lots of nonfiction. I read Ordinary Men. Um, so the, the reason why I picked this up was, I've kind of gone over this, it was to get into like the psychology bits, the why ordinary people would do things that these people did. Um, that's not really what it went over. It went over history and all the things that they did. And then chapter 18 finally gets into kind of that, but he doesn't really go over that. He, he just says that like ordinary people would do the things 
that they they did like it was the minority who would step away and say no I'm not gonna do this um, which is kind of um, just sad I guess but then it's also good to read books like this to be able to mm, say and to prep beforehand if you ever got into a situation like this to be like I'm going to be the outlier I'm going to be the person that steps away and says no I'm not going to do this <clears throat> But anyway, don't really know if I'd recommend this one. If you're a World War II history buff, yes. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I feel like there might be other books that you could read, but I don't know. Ordinary Men was my seventh read. My eighth, ninth, and ten read, uh, tenth reads were all Annie Jacobson books. I read Operation Paperclip. Um, that one was, I feel like it was pretty good. I just didn't know enough about the history to really understand and get as much out of it as I could have. Ninth, uh, Area 51, I really enjoyed. I think that one was really good. I think I should have read that one first and then The Pentagon Spring, which was my 10th read. And then maybe Operation Paperclip, just so I kind of knew more of the history, knew kind of what was happening. So I might go back and reread those. I probably will. We'll see when that happens. And I am also currently reading Phenomena. I am at part two. I'm not going to be saved by the audiobook this time, so I actually need to read this a bit faster than I am at the moment. If I want to get through my massive, we're gonna call this a May June TBR, just so y'all don't think I'm crazy because I am, but I also just wanna be more intentional about reading this month because I was, for that one week when I was swapping YouTube screen time with reading, I got so much read. I want to do that or like read more, more of the week, so like, three, four hours a day instead of when I remember slash feel like it. So I would like to finish the Christian Handbook as part of my devotions. And then after I finish reading the Christian's Handbook, there's another one. I think I'd like to work on either Everyday Holiness by my pastor or um, A Body of Divinity, which I've started and need to actually finish so some books to read during devotionals i kind of like to split up my reading to be like fiction or well like devotions devotional books um library books and then books for videos slash fiction versus non-fiction reading writing books writing craft books i'd like to just section it out i don't know if that's gonna work anyway Let's get to actual TBR. Um, so I want to finish, is my bookmark still in here? Mm, that could be problematic. Oh, 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 it is, I found it, I found it. Or is that someone else's? That could be someone else's bookmark. I found a bookmark. Oh, this is someone else's bookmark. Okay, <laughs> this is The Night Stalker by Philip Carlo. This is true crime. I am going to finish this book. This was a brutal read. Um, and now I'm getting into like the backstory. Oh, I think I found my bookmark. I found my bookmark. Is this mine? I found my bookmark. Um, so I'm at chapter 34. I'm gonna finish this. Um, and then I'm also going to read Helter Skelter and by Vincent, it's Italian, Bugliosi, Bugliosi, I don't think you pronounce the G, with Kurt Gentry, this one, and Columbine by Dave Colin, all true crime, this is for a video, I am, I don't want to say excited, I like to learn about these things, and I like psychology, and all of that. So I'm going to be reading those for a video. And then I'm also trying to sorry, read all of the books on my bookshelf, but I haven't read yet. So for self-discovery, this isn't, it was self-help, that's what it was, self-help. This is um, Clifton Strengths, 
that I, I would just like to read all of this. I read all of my strengths, but I like to read all of them. And then Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. I really don't want to pull all the books out of my TBR. I have a few books from the library. I have Surprise Kill Vanish by Annie Jacobson that I would like to read as soon as I get the audiobook reading this one. And then I am going to read Phantom Heart, Daisy Dark Girl. I found this at the library. I just picked it up randomly. I'm like, I've heard of this. I'm going to read this. Um, so Phantom Heart is going to be a reread. So that one's like, I may or may not get to it. I might give it back to the library. But anyway, library reads just kind of to read when I need a, a pick me up, I guess. I have a few books from the library that I am reading, studying for a project. So these are like mystery books, mystery books, mystery book. Um, and then I have three, three more down there. Um, so this is uh, like a middle school discovery mystery trilogy. This is book one. I have book two and three down there. I'm not going to grab those. Just these are kind of fragile. They've been well loved and I don't want to mess with these too much. So um, there's these ones and those. Um, I will go over these a little bit more with you guys. So I'm not going to talk about them too much. And then I have this beautiful collection of Sherlock Holmes classics. I'm going to read this. Do I recommend reading beautiful books? No. Uh, have I already like damaged this book because I've been touching it too much and I'm going to read them? Yes. I've um yeah damaged. But look look at how silver on the inside. I love it. Okay so I'm gonna read all of these probably for a video. Oh, I'm so excited. I thought I read fantasy, gothic fantasy. This is the publisher. Love them. Ah, love it. Okay. <laughs> so that's, I can't remember if that one's going to be by itself or if that's part of the classics video. So finishing the strange case of Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde and the other stories. I've read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm probably will reread it. I don't know if I'm going to reread it this year or if I'm just going to read the other stories. We'll see what happens. Man in the Iron Mask. This is, I need to finish it. I think take my bookmark out again what is it me with taking bookmarks out of book this is not smart okay but i probably need to start it over anyway and then the blue castle i did not pick this up willingly this was gifted to me but we're gonna try it and we're gonna count it as classic and we're gonna see what it goes what happens author of anne of green gables i couldn't get into anne of green gables when i was a kid but i also couldn't get into a lot of different books when i was a kid so we'll see how this goes hopefully it's better but i'm still scared then, I know, we're still going. <laughs> Gothic fantasy. Um, this is ghost stories. So this book and the big book of Illinois ghost stories are going together. I think this is all fantasy, but these are actual Illinois ghost stories. And I would like, I would love to do a video of me going to all of the places in this book and just like picking one, reading the story to you guys, going to that place and like, or maybe just telling you about the story. This one's a little bit boring because it's written like history. It's not written like a fun ghost story like this. It's written like history. But anyway, another video. I have so many video guys, video ideas planned for you guys. I have Predators. This is the true crime adjacent. There's two other books that we have, but this is the one that I've started. Oh, I got farther than I thought. It's kind of a small book. Um, True Crime Adjacent. I'm gonna read that and a couple others. Then, I am so excited for this video, you guys. The Book Thief, reread. The Book of Pearl, reread. The Witch of Blackbird Pond, reread. Historical fiction, my favorite books. I did not think that I liked historical fiction until I realized I have like three favorite books that are historical fiction. So, I'm gonna reread these and I'm gonna annotate them. I'm so excited. I bought annotation things and also three other books, which are also going to be in this video. I have so many stacks of books. This is not okay. That's probably going to be all that I'm going to get to. If that, I'm going to have to actually read. Um, but yes, I also have some writing craft books and some story collections. So three story collections, four writing craft books. We'll see if I get to those. I think I should be able to get to the writing craft books if I read them at a, just a different time. Like, we'll see. 
I don't know how this is going to work, but that's kind of my massive TBR. All of these have been on my TB, well, most of these have been on my TBR for a while. And what I really wanna do is I just wanna read all the books that I have, that I own, and if I'm not going to reread them, I want to get rid of them. Am I going to be getting rid of any or most of these books? Probably not. The only one that I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of is The Blue, the Blue Castle. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's kind of my goal, my crazy goal. Got lots of videos planned. I'm so excited. Yeah, let me know what your guys's May TBR is. Any fun books, like your favorite reads from April? Mine were definitely Area 51 and Dracula. Those were my favorite reads. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm so excited. I don't know which one it's going to be yet, but it's going to be most likely involving some of these books. Guess.